All right. The crumble cookie craze isn't just a nationally trending sweet treat. It is making its way across Connecticut. Local ownership here. Yeah, let's widen this camera out. Joining us now, we're happy to have Troy Van Bell and Tucker Bartone, both Connecticut crumble owners. Thank you both for being here. Welcome. Uh, this, is, uh, this is an introductory thing for me. I am not ashamed to admit I had no idea about I had, like, missed the whole crumble cookie craze. We're not offended. Until we started reporting that you guys are coming to West Hartford. I know all about it for my kids. So, so yeah, a lot of people, <laughs> like, yeah, right. So the familiar people, you can go with Erica. If you're just learning about them, I I'm right here with you. What do we need to know? So, I mean, the biggest thing about Crumble is obviously, for the most part, the craze. You are one of the rare breeds, which we love yeah. as well. When yeah. we get to show somebody their first Crumble experience, Ooh, that's, that's a highlight. Um, so the biggest thing about Crumble is the obviously the freshness and the flavor of the cookies themselves. Um, so it's a rotating menu. You have a couple staples each week with your pink sugar and your chocolate chip cookie. Those will occasionally um, yes. rotate out as well. But these four uh, specialty right. flavors are an every week thing. We, uh, we run them from Monday to Saturday, close down on Sunday, okay. and surprise you again on Monday with a whole new set. That's the thing because you can go there several times and you can still keep going to try a new flavor. Yeah, the That's whole the really whole point is to have you guys never sick of us. Yeah. Um, and once you take one of the one bite, they're cooked within two hours of you buying the cookie. So um, oh, wow. it's it's always as fresh as it can get. The kids are breaking down the butter and the okay. sugar every moment. So. And this is the cutter That's because it. those things are big. I don't know if you saw. This is like a, a box you'd use for a, a dozen donuts. We got six cookies. Well, and if you cut them, you can yeah. try more. Flavors. I love it. Yep. Yeah. So really a lot of people exciting. like the minis, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, for catering, they're upset that they can't get them all the time. They want to portion out so we've got that for you too so you go ahead and you just press on in and you have your nice little uh, your sectioned out cookies so they're big they're, the people pick, pick pick up these boxes and they're like wow that's like a box of bricks basically <laughs> yeah. so you gotta sometimes do some portion control and yeah. that's what the cutter does for you I look know. at that nice and easy going through. Few more. talk about how it is being in West Hartford it's a great location for you is that what you were hoping for when you yeah, were like it was kind of our flagship location that we wanted to get we started out having the first door in Manchester Manchester, right. so we, and we felt really special about that. We're like, yes, we got I've the first there. store. <laughs> and then Manchester, or West Hartford rather, was a little bit harder to get, but we wanted that flagship storefront right off the freeway exit, and so it's pretty rewarding for us to open that. Mm -hmm. And we've been really busy, so thanks for all those that have come out so oh, far. Before getting into Crumble, were you a cookie connoisseur, so to speak, at home? No, actually, I'm in the solar business, the residential solar business, and I had met some investors at a leadership conference that were opening their first few in Florida, mm -hmm. and then I thought, this is an awesome business model, and I knew Tucker from actually from work from solar uh -huh. and I said hey we should we should open the first ones in Connecticut we applied go. and the rest is history which one yeah. do you want yeah uh, I was never so excited that knocking doors turned into like <laughs> a, I don't know 100x bigger sweet tooth yeah I can imagine decide. um oh, now, s'mores is a good one. Oh, there yeah yeah so you've got, go with that. this is the snickerdoodle over here okay. right snickerdoodle cupcake yeah and that's what is a, this one over here again now that's actual nutter butter nutter cookie butter right broken here. down into a chilled yeah. cookie with um, yeah. another Butter, butter frosting it's got um, melted Reese's in the frosting as well so a lot of you know a lot of like powerful brand and, mm -hmm. and quality uh, ingredients in those of course the classic chocolate chip this is uh, a sugar yeah, cookie right good. I think right. I'm gonna try the sticker okay go for that you know so Snickerdoodle. while we're trying to let me ask you, do you guys, guys ever get sick of cookies I have to ask well, you know yeah. I, mean? I never do, you do. Want a piece? I have a problem <laughs> I eat so many of them Dude, Tucker's a little bit he better can handle control. a lot I'm more of the this, flavors than I'm I can go but I go okay. pretty hard when it's when it's like the snickerdoodle and the s'mores what's okay. your favorite um, yeah, I, honestly, I do the snickerdoodle without the frosting. I'm pretty okay. classic. Okay. My high school like baking class, so that was like so one wasted. of the only things besides like the the fresh pasta okay. to mm. make from scratch that I kept with me. It was the only baking I ever did before mm -hmm. here. Wait, so. No, I don't want to eat it because I want to ask you quick, <laughs> and then I can bite it. Uh, social media looks like it's played a big role in sort of making you guys like a viral sensation. Why don't you talk about that a little bit? Big time. Yeah. Um, Sawyer Hemsley, the CEO, uh, the one of the founders, um, COO now, uh, just had graduated from college and decided to open it up with his cousin Jason. He's mm -hmm. kind of like the, the lead mm -hmm. on the branding with that. Just the virality of it comes from him, his, his aesthetic that he's put into the brand, um, and how nuts of a team they've put together um, in how well they um, really leverage TikTok, Instagram, the, the just the image of everything, and um, 
when that freshness combines with yeah. the image, people put those two together and they don't really forget about it. Right. So, oh, man. so Manchester, West oh, Hartford, man. any plans for a third? Yeah, I'll get you. We <laughs> have a third. Get you. You do have so a third. we have a third in Milford that we opened okay. what seven months ago. Yeah. And then we have okay. Newington coming off the Berlin Turnpike Newington, where that new construction wow. is. Okay. Yes. Good. And then oh, we wow. have Norwalk on Friday. Oh my goodness. Easter yes. week. What? A so wait, not a couple weeks. So a week so from Friday. Week two from Friday. big openings back to back mm. is pretty wild. Yeah. Um, I, we, we called in another operating owner to kind of stomach that that we'll charge. <laughs> um, so Aaron Aaron's a beautiful man and uh, he's going to have a nice launch. <laughs> um, right. Yeah. It's Easter week and then spring break. So that's going to be a, a, a really big one. Mm -hmm. All right guys. Well thank you so much for being here. Let me just say for a cookie as big and thick as this, mm -hmm. I need it to be chewy. I don't. Yes. I can't do like the chips and white, and this is chewy. We expect really to see you still every, week. Yeah, <laughs> every week. Outside, every week. Well, yep. Yeah. Well, oh we get a goodness. you know a discount for buying so many. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> You're trying to angle the discounts yeah. already.